Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna try something a little different. Um, I used to have that. I used to be doing that uh, survival island let's play, and I enjoyed doing it. Um, but you know, there's so many of those that it's like I think the market is rather oversaturated. So I was wondering if you guys would be interested in uh, maybe more like a technical let's play where we. Uh, try to invent things or try uh, to make things that other people have made and maybe uh, maybe even have a world where we uh, once we figure them out in the test world we'll go install them that sort of thing but not a uh, let's go kill a skeleton type of a let's play so I'm not sure if uh, there's a quote unquote market for that or not but uh, since I'm doing it anyway I might as well record it I suppose if anybody likes that sort of thing, let me know. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm trying to do here is um, I made all these huge arrays and people were complaining, oh, it's so huge. Whatever. So um, I'm going to try making a, um, a four button with maybe like a uh, either a four pin or maybe like a six digit pin or something like that. So it's still got some security, but it's not so huge. <coughs> Yeah. And the other thing I wanted to try is see if we could squeeze this together a little bit um, more than the last one. The last one was uh, you know, once every the, the the aisles this way were every two blocks, and I wanted to see if it was possible to um, have them right together because they're using repeaters, so why not? I guess. So. <clears throat> Damn. So that's the one I want for the first combination. So you put a block on top of that and then light up that dust. No block, no light, no power. And then I'll put uh, torches on everything but the one that I'm using. So I mean, so far so good. I think this way we're gonna have to have a double wide because um, we gotta do the. Uh, the RS nor latch design. I gotta remember how to to build these things. I want to try to make it the same. The first one over here was different. Remember last time? So let's start with a, uh, a torch, two blocks, and then the uh, and then latch. So we got a torch, and then. Uh, I have an inversion problem. I think I do. Maybe not. Maybe I, no. That is the in, inverted right there. That torch right there inverts it. So anyway, torch, and then uh, two lines of dust, and uh, then the latch. Is that right? I forgot already. I'm going to repair here, some dust on that, block in front of that, dust, or torch. Alright, so that's the latch, and right now it's uh, unset or reset, and when it gets set, this torch is going to come on, so it'll send power over to here, and this is what i got to go remember how to do. So, how does that work? Sends power to there, and then it's got a torch, and then a repeater. Torch, and then a repeater, and then dust. Okay, and then the other block. Okay. So a torch, repeater, and the dust. And that has to be isolated. And then the block here with a torch on it. And block here, here. And then the torch for the next latch. And these are all parallel, yeah. These are all the same uh, this way. So, um, build it the same way again. And once I get this working, then I'll uh, kind of, I think I'll do a six digit pin. That seems like a good number. 
So it's going to be a little bit spread out this way, but it's going to be very narrow this way if I do it right. I think I, I could squeeze this up a little bit. I'm not going to do it right now. But... Alright, so that's that. And then I want to... Now this one... i got to reset these. Alright, so when the button is pushed, this will go out, allowing that to come on, setting it. And I need to have this one come in powered, so it creates a um, a gate of some type, of which name I don't really know, and or nor or something. Anyway, when this power's on and this power's on, that torch won't come on. That's the basic gist of it. Whatever you want to call it. I gotta sit down and figure that out. Uh, what do you want the next combo to be? Let's make it uh, go up to here. So this will be the next one. And then we'll just uh, do the same thing we did before. And uh, leave a off of the one that's the combo, and then we got to put the repeaters in here to continue the signal through. Alright, and then we power that. So that's set, and then uh, this would be the output. So this would be like if you had a two, uh, two digit pin, it should be not really that secure. But what the hell? So we can hear the door opening. So this is. Uh, and I got these kind of wired a little weird. Um, not really weird, but it's it's nice and nice shape, but it's not really, you know, this isn't one, two, three, four, as you'd think of it looking at the buttons. Um, so it's more like one, two, three, four, that way. So it doesn't really matter for the, the person entering the combo, but we got to remember that uh, it goes in kind of a U shape. So the first one would be three, one, two, three. Sets so that one, and then the next one would be four, which would be here. And the door opened. And then, alright, cool. So that works. Um, so that saves a lot of space uh, versus my original uh, design. So that's cool. <clears throat> Not sure if I could, well, I, I, can, I can gain some space there. Let me. Um, I'm going to bring up that um, other editor so I don't have to keep uh, waiting for bedtime. It's kind of annoying because it gets dark, but you can't go to sleep because it's uh, not quote unquote nighttime. So we'll bring up LOL editor. I've got to make sure you quit out of here. If I hit that or not. Oh, there it is. And we open the right world, which is, uh, what is it? Tutorials, I think. And we hit day, and then save, and then you should do a morning. So next time we go in there, it'll be a lot faster because you know, it'll already be open. So I can save space here. And I bet I could save space by dropping this down as well. So maybe in the next iteration, is that a right word? Um, you could bring this up to here, but down two blocks. Yeah, I think you go two blocks down. I mean, you're already down to here anyways. So you might as well use that space. But uh, come back to that. So right now I gotta go up and over. Yeah, let's screw it. Let's just do it now. So I want to have that torch be right here. Where my torch is going. And then uh, I just gotta remember what the pattern was. It was two over and then the latch. So the latch goes here, starts there. Anyway. All right, so yeah, go down below. This is where the first torch goes. 
and the uh, second torch is up here off of that and then the repeater goes down here and this all needs to go So, got our latch started, and then there's a piece of dust that goes here. And let me reset this. Yep, nope, so far so good. Alright, so that should be uh, the same. Then the signal comes out this way, and then down. There's a, a line there with a torch and then a repeater some dust with the block on top of the dust just like that and then what happens over here I think we have a um, we have a torch here and that goes there dust dust and then the latch yeah Repeater underneath there, torch right there, torch right there, and then the dust over here. Alright, cool. So let's reset that. Alright, so now we should be uh, at the same place we were. Let's go ahead and output this to our um, door again just to have something to check with. And then our code was 3. And then you can see that torch is lit. Good. And then four. And then it opened up. So excellent. So it's working good. We just need to reset it now. And now I can bring this down here. Like so. I don't want to bring it on top of that torch. And I don't want it to hit this torch here. Everything out. But I will put a um, torch there and I'll put some dust here and then I need to isolate this guy here. I'm going to have to isolate that one too. I don't know if that bothers anybody that you can't see that there's dust under there. there used to be dust under there. Alright, so anyway, that's that. So, um, and then this needs to be uh, inverted. It's convenient. All right, nice. Uh, let's see next. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty, pretty good. So we'll just make these all the same, I guess. Out and uh, like that, and then run it straight out. And oops, too far. Put a torch there, and some dust there, and then I'll run that back. Alright, so now we're reset. Uh, everything's back to where it defaults to. We hit the first button, one, two, three. That lights up. And if I hit the third or the fourth button, that lights up. And you notice the first one went out. That's because four is not the correct number for this latch, so it resets it. But by that time, we've already gone past. And that reminds me, I need to put a delay in here just in case. I think that worked fine, but I'd like to have a little bit of a, a time delay there. Alright, so that's cool. Um, now we just want to make six of those. And I think it'll be faster if we just kind of do it one block at a time here. So we've got to put a hole every other... So that's five, six. Then we got to put dust in each of these. I'm going to put a block on top. And what 
next. Um, then we got uh, dust coming across through here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a row of uh, blocks across here and then cut out what I don't want. Make it easy. D uh, torch goes on each one of these. And, uh, and then underneath we have. Let's see what's going on here. Every um, other block is a hole with a hole behind it. Yeah, that's the right place for it. Just like that. And then we'll put a repeater in each of these holes. And then dust on the tops of these blocks. And then the torch. Right there, right there. Torch here, 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 and here. And I can go ahead and clear all this uh, this stuff out because I'm not going to need that. Let's back up a little bit. All right. So what's the next pattern? Um, so we got to do dust like that. Hang on a second, I'm going to upload a video, stand by. Alright. Um. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Alright, so uh, where were we? We were... Um, Extending this pattern out to make six. So let's go like that. And then we need uh, torches on uh, each of those faces. If I can find the torches. So one there, one there, there. There and then repeaters after that. And then a uh, spot of dust back there. And then uh, we need to isolate that. Alright, so that is it, isn't it? Okay, and then uh, from here, go down two, just one, just one. And punch this out to the end of the, to end here, I guess. I love the sand sound, it's almost like a rock with a gold pick. I think that might be a little faster. But... And you get sandstone when you break it, which is a nice concept. Let's see if we can cobblestone. Alright, so there we go. Um... I think I've gotten a little closer. Start out so far. I need that one. Oh, uh, see, damn it, I forgot to uh, move everything up. Yeah, I see what I did wrong. So, this one is the old pattern, or the first pattern. Old. This one is the uh, short pattern, and this one will be the long pattern again. And the 
think that was the only difference, wasn't it? Where's my test? So let's um all oh, those are powering that. Um what am I trying to do? That, yeah, we need to have the power coming in. So let's throw, let's throw some dust down there just to check this. Well, let's, let's go ahead and do the combo. Um, so we got three, four, let's do one. If you go here. Some dust on that. Yeah, that works. And then three, four, one. Let's go back to four. Um, two. Oh, that's one. Let's do two. And then let's do three. Let's put the uh, oh. put the blocks on top, and then the repeaters in between. Ah, damn it. Come on. This one's the uh, next number. So we put torches on everything else. And then this one was all the way at the end. So we put torches on these. This one was two. And I think this one was three. So that looks about right. Now we need the uh, repeaters again. should be. Next task, I'm going to run a line all the way across here so it's easier to run the other lines. I'm going to run this out. And it comes down where, right here. So I'll keep that consistent. Good. Let me get rid of uh, these blocks. Don't need. And all these get torches on the faces here. And then we gotta run the blocks out. So we can reset. So, and then repeaters, almost there.
turn off those torches. All right, so now I think we've got everything in place. I need to make sure everything's reset. Everything's good, except the first one. And uh, that one should be reset. Okay, nice, nice. Let's uh, hook up a door or something. Where's the... Uh, I don't, there's nothing really you can do about the outfit's way over here. And you want it way back over there, so... Kind of inconvenient, but I'm not sure what else you could do. If there's any easy way of snaking it through, I think I'll just take it out. Uh, I want to take it out this way. I don't need to be down to. We're gonna need a uh, probably a bunch of repeaters. I'm gonna put a torch here so I know when I run out. Just run it. Uh, I wonder if I can run it. No, that block's powered. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, I need a repeater. And then our uh, so the output is here. Uh, let's put a door or something over here. Just have something to play with. This would be the outside here, trying to do the base. Take that one away. Some dust there. Does that close it or open it? So that is anything. No, it's open. Powered is open though, so we need to invert that. If I can do it like this. With a torch there. So, wait a minute, this is going to be unpowered. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so that's proper. I just got to take off the torch at the end. Alright. Let's try out our uh, little editor. that it takes you somewhere else. You'd have to reload the world and then save again. Alright, so I think we're good so far. I probably should make that a time though for realism, but whatever. Um do you have any idea what the combo is? Uh, three, four, one, four, three, four, one, four. Two, three. Three. Four. Oh, four didn't come on. Do I need to extend these? I did the first two. I'm sure that's not a problem. So we got one to come, or the first one to come on. No, that's three. So three, and then the next one is, should be four, which is this one, but it's not coming on. So there's something, something I'm missing there. I'm gonna replace that with a lever just for diagnostic purposes. So I'll power that and try to figure out what's going on. So it's um, it goes out. Yeah, that's that's right. It goes out, which should let this one come on, but it's not because of these. What did I do differently before? It's not being let. It's not coming on because of. Uh, well, 
Well, this one's not set, obviously. Let's try this again. Let me turn this one back off. So I'll hit the that one. But that one's not working now. Okay, that one's working. So this torch is off currently. So as long as I release this torch, that should, that should come on. Why isn't that coming on? Here. So, I can't quite see what's going on. Take one more look at this. This is powered. The RSNR latch is set, which is turning this torch off. And theoretically, if this goes out, let's try it here. It's because of this guy. Let's see what I do different over here. Oh, they weren't. Here I had them. Why do I have them side by side over there? Oh, well, don't, yeah, see, I'm an idiot. This goes back here. This is a repeater. And then the dust goes there. And then, uh, no. I think there's dust in here. And then a repeater there. I don't remember. I think that's right. And then this one's right. Well, that's no. Oh, that's that's okay. But this uh, needs to go back. Let me double check that. I wasn't sure if there was a dust between that and the repeater or, or not. Yeah, there was. So there's dust and then, yep, yeah, okay. I think we got it now. So, um, i to do dust here and then a repeater and then dust. Repeater over here to isolate it, and then isolate this dust in the middle. And I think that's it. Let's see if we can reset all these. We should just reset. I take away the dust. If I take away the dust. Something's wrong. So I think we've got it here. Um, hit. Let me remove this just in case it actually works. Um, so we got to hit the first button, which is three, and then four, and then one went out. Good. Three, four, one. Three, four, one, four. Two, three. And three, four, one, four. Two, three. So we did three, four, and then we got to do one. Four. 
didn't reset. I didn't reset that one. <laughs> I got too excited, too carried away, forgot to finish. set everything hopefully. Oh, I hit the right number. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, uh, 4, 3, 1, 4, didn't hit that fourth one. 4, 2, 1, 4. Should be right. What am I missing? So I have to do the lever trick again. No, let's do it the other way. Um, so four. Let's try this again. Four. Uh, two. One. So this is where we have the problem. This is this AND gate, quote unquote, is work. Oh, this is, no, that's fine. Oh, my mouse. Sorry. Um, this is out. Is that powered? What is that being powered by? Is it that? It's that block. What? What did I do different? Well, we hadn't had that situation yet. I do differently over here. Okay, um, let me look at this one more time. It's getting um, See, that was uh, there's a repeater next to it. Is that my problem? See, this freaking copy pasted this in MC Edit. Lord. Okay, this one. The short one, does it have a repeater in front of it? can't power the next block over. What the f Maybe side by side so I can compare them. The problem is it's sending power What is the problem? 
This t torch can't come on. All that. If I take that off, all that works. What the hell? So why didn't four do it? I'm all confused. I reset that one. So if I take the power off on four. should have gone off. Allowed that to come on. Wait, it did. Man, this diagnostic stuff is a pain in the ass. Alright, so we take off four, and it doesn't come on. Why is that not going off? Is powering that. Is this a repeater bug? I hope not. That should be going out. Why is that dust lit? These repeaters have got some issues. So I put this dust back, and it lights up. Take this dust away, and it goes out. So why won't it do it when I need it to? Four, two, one, four. It's not two, that's three actually. And this is the one I have the problem with. Oh, it's not four. What? Am I hitting the code wrong all this time? Good morning, if that's the case. Two, four. One, four, uh, two, um, two, uh, three. I can't believe I was wasted. I'm going to edit all that out for you guys, but I wasted about ten minutes trying to figure this shit out, and I was just hitting the wrong code every time. Because I knew that would throw me this... this I had to uh, do this kind of backwards because um, it, it was just very compact this way, but it's not quite one, two, three, four. It just kind of throws me. So the correct code is well, this isn't. Let's 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 figure out the correct code. So that would be two. So this would be two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four would be the normal way you would think of this. So this one is two. I'm going to put some signs up here. Maybe that'll help. Oh my god. Alright, so one is this one right here. So that's easy enough. Um, and 
this one is um, one, two, three. Oops, damn it. Three, and uh, this one would be four. Yes? One. Now this is two. One. No. It's four. God damn it, why is this so hard? One. Two. So that's two. And this is four. Okay. Lord. Uh, four. And then uh, two. Every time I do that. Is that right? One, three, four, two. Okay. So the code is four, two. One four two one two four two one two four two one two. Wait, oh, I'm missing a torch here. Four two one two. Uh, four two one two three. Four two one two three four. Four two. Uh, four two one two three four. So four, two, one. Is it cut out right then? Let's start over. Um, four, two, one, two, three, four. Nice. I never put that up here, so I don't fucking forget that. Anymore. Is it four, two, one, two, three, four? All right, so cool. There we go. A um, four four button pad, six digit code. I think that's relatively secure. And I just hit the last number again, so it's not going to reset. But any other number will reset it. And then you'd put a um, pressure pad. Yeah, a pressure pad. Go in here somewhere. Um, well, if it's a single door, we can just put it right here. We need to change this to an iron door just for realism. And I think we can set this up so it's a little more griefer proof by um, making sure it's powered when it's closed. And, uh, let's see. and I think this is opposite. So you have to. Uh, I think you'd have to turn the tor the the doors a different way. How do you do that? Let's see. Perhaps if you uh, sit in here sideways, I want the face of the door to be out here. I think it's this way. So powered will be uh, be uh, closed. Where's my torch is at? So we'll do that. And some this on top here, and then uh, like that. All right. So that should work. Oh, it's locked now. So if I use the, I can use the pressure plate to turn that off. That's one way to do it. It's not really. That's weird. It's off, so why isn't it opening? Turn that torch off. 
door should be open right now. What the hell? That's really weird. I'm not sure about that one. I can play with that later. So anyway, there's your uh because back the way it was. You just put a torch here. Uh -huh. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. So you need to have it powered, I guess. So yeah, I'll, f I'll have to figure out the, how that works. But for now, four, two, one, two. sound. I'm going to save this, quit out of Minecraft, and then uh, start over again. I heard some, I'm having some issues with uh, torches getting fried. And I tried it once where I quit out and come back and it was working. So let's see if this works. Four, two, one, two, three, four. Right. Four, two, Word. Or two, one. There it goes. Two, three, four. What the hell? Four, two, one, two. I wonder how fast you can go. So, four, two, one, two, three, four. Hey, that's cool. You don't have to sit there and wait for the buttons each time. Four, two, one, two, three, four. What? It's screwing with me now. Well, it works most of the time. I guess that's what counts. I gotta fix this issue with the pressure plate. Oh, but anyway, there you go. A four digit uh, combo pad with a six digit pin. Pretty uh, nice little compact unit, I think. People are gonna say, oh, it's too big. Bastards. Alright, guys, well, I'm gonna post this and. Uh, Probably do a tutorial second, so you probably have seen this before you watch this. But uh, anyway, I think that's cool. It's a lot more compact, and I'd like to. If you, anybody knows anything about statistics, uh, how much more secure is a nine-digit pad with a four-digit pin, or a four-digit pad with a six-digit pin? But 
you know, just by the numbers, you'd think this is a little bit less secure. But I wonder how what the what the numbers say, you know. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.